Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we saw the login part of the learning app. In this class, what I am going to teach is, if the login success is visit to the course created page. Okay, so uh, let me see the things. Okay, here we have to remove this email button here. So it is not efficient way, way to write here. So let me remove the task. So go to the app bar main.xml here this is the button so we have to select the one and delete okay app bar main.xml okay the button should be removed if you remove like that it is remove it right like here right that's the thing you have to write so here now again we have run the app and see Now here, if you go at course, now here there is no button, success. Now what I'm going to do is here, uh, I'm going to uh, go to the new adder main.xml here. First I'm going to, before creating the course activity, we have to do this stuff, this stuff, okay. Here, this uh, new adder dot, uh, main dot, dot xml, this is the uh, fragment here this one here instead of this logo we have to change it change it to our logo okay I have uh, I have made some sample logo so here we have to go to the text here what I'm going to do is image view here in image view we have to change the logo right image view we have to change the logo here this one mm, image view we have to change the logo so what I'm going to do is here, uh, I have a logo in my F drive logo one, like this one, right click, uh, right click, copy, paste on the do, uh, draw a button, right click, paste, here it asks three, you have to select the one, this one, first one, draw a button, right, click OK, uh, it asks the name. Uh, I, I give the uh, I'm going to give the default name here right now it is successfully paste here now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to get the things so you have to write uh, SRC you have to write as a drawable logo you have to select it right select and you can go to the design and it is not coming here so when you run the app and check we no need this one as well you have to remove the stuff mm, right now let's check now here it successfully changed the logo here okay now the color is not good okay instead of this color we have to change it as a uh, white so what is the color you have to you go to the uh, layout here what is the color we have to add here you have to check the color here this background color it added here android background can you uh, the, you have to remove this stuff and check what happened right now it's okay this style you have to remove android background you have to put some background here you have to remove the stuff background and you have to check here it's coming here now let's check how is it now now here go to the this one here now it successfully changed on the page here it successfully changed after change the logo what i'm going to do is here uh, go to the app folder right click new here i'm going to create the activity and i'm going to create one empty activity here this one i'm going to create the active as course click finish in this activity we no need to fragment uh, when the when the person uh, login login successfully it goes to the course page so it's a uh, it's no uh, not come under the uh, 
fact demand so what i'm going to do is here go to the rs folder layout this one activity course.xml here let me change the layout linear layout this one should be orientation vertical grave center right now here what i'm going to do is here the same thing i'm going to copy and paste here but you are go to the login.xml the login.xml the same thing what i'm going to do is here inside the linear layout you have to copy this one right control c to copy control v to paste here right instead of writing you have to copy right if you paste it it's come like this you have to change it right here heading you have to change it as a create course course right create course right here create course now what i'm going to do is here first one we have to change the username we have to change it as a this one should be course course right course name something course name i have given right here we have to change this one as a id we have to change it as a course right second one uh, we have to change it as a title this one should be the title heading title or heading or anything else right after that this one should be here also we have to write as a title right now here you can see right now i need another one column i need so here uh, one mistake i made here this one uh, instead of putting the edit text we have to change it as a snipper tool then we will able to change the courses right able to select the courses so here this is the this is the edit text we have to change this one as a snipper snipper tool snipper here uh, android id here course now here in snipper i am going to list the course so what i am going to do is here go to the values folder here string.xml here what i am going to do is here i am going to create the string array so we have to write as string sorry this one string array this one string array we have to write as this one as a course that is course courses right we have to give the name as courses that's no problem now here what i'm going to do is here we have to list the items right wow how many items we need so that item to write as this one as a first one should be java control c to copy control v to paste here control v to paste here this one should be c sharp c sharp dot net csharp.net this one should be bb.net right that's the stuff we have to do now what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to uh, accurate.xml this one here we have to give this this one as a uh, entities you have to write as a entities and we have to array courses this one array courses right that's the thing you have to do here you have to put like this here it's coming like this simple after that we need a text here so i'm going to uh, copy this linear layout again control c to copy we have to paste it Uh, below this okay so control c to copy this one control v to paste here this one we have to change it as a text this one you have to text right here it's successfully it's aligned now what i'm going to do is here this one we have to change it as a add add course we just put add and we need another button control c to copy control v to paste this one should be text we have to change it as a cancel this one you have to change it as to right here right here what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change the color of the background this one 
should be we have to change it as a background color primary if you have to put as primary you can check right simple right now uh, what i'm if the login successfully it visit to this page so uh, go to the login dot chart this one this page here instead of uh, instead of uh, writing the toast we have to remove this one we have to instead of the toast we have to write the uh, thing as here intent let me see the another page so intent i equal new i equal new intent here you have to write as get get application so here we have to write as get activity get get activity dot get application context comma we have to which page we have to visit course that a page we have to visit dot class class okay right why i put this get uh, activity mean this is this page is under the uh, uh, fragment so we have to write this one okay right that's the thing you have to write here you have to write as a start activity i right that's it if the login successfully it successfully goes to the this page right successfully goes to this page uh, now let's check whether it's working fine or not now here here cl uh, click add uh, course here we have to uh, write the correct username and password click login button here it successfully it's login and visit to the page course add page here we have to select the course which you want to add select the course and add the title and text okay here uh, this text we have to change it this is not a multi line here we only write one line okay we have to write right it it will be able to write the multi line now here what i'm going to do is here this text box go to this text box this text box android text here we have to change the property android so uh, input type input android input type we have to change it as a multi line text multi line we have to change it as text line that's it we have to change the property here this it should be multi line it's change it as a multi line text right that's the thing you have to write okay you will be able to write the multi line okay you have to write this property it make it as this, that text box make it as multi line right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to the course activity above this is the activity course activity double click on this one here i'm going to going to add the uh, uh, data into the database so here what i'm going to do first time edit text here i'll write the first one uh, ed1 comma ed2 only after that we we have a snipper tool so snipper right 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 that's the only thing we have need after that what i'm going to do is here first we have to write is get it the ed1 dot ed1 equal find view by id r dot id dot first one should be here what is the thing this one should be course this one should be title this one should be text right this one course this not a course this one should be snipper control c to copy control v to paste here right second one should be ed1 dot sorry equal find view by by id r dot id dot this one should be uh, title why it's not so title 
ed1 dot find view by dd r dot id dot title right after that ed2 dot equal find view by id r dot this one should be text text this one should be text right i successfully wrote like this here this one text title this one course right simple after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to one button we have two buttons b2 here course this one id will be btn1 btn2 right so here you have write as a b1 equal find view by id uh, dot id dot btn1 the same button i'm going to get the copy control c copy control v to paste here this one should be two right now here what i'm going to do is here b1 dot set on click listener new view on click listener here we have to write as a uh, insert coding we have to write so how to write the insert code is first we have to write the function public void insert function right first i am going to write the alignment so we have to write a try and catch try and catch here the exception dx right now here inside the try i am going to uh, create the variable string course i am going to create the variable course equal this sniper okay this is the id it is it is assigned to the variable sniper so get the sniper vari uh, variable here dot get uh, select that item dot to string after that we have to uh, create another thing string variable is uh, title equal title is ed1 ed1 dot get text dot to string right final one should be you have to write as this one as a this one text so text here have to write as a ed2 right right after that what i'm going to i had successfully assign these uh, variables into the relevant variables right Re uh, relevant variables here now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the sql class sql light so i'm going to uh, add the data into the database so you have to write a sql sql light database this one sql light database uh, we have to create the object db equal open create this one we have to write this one as a you have to create the database name so we have to create the name uh, uh, database name is you have to uh, write as learning learn learn app database name learn app uh, comma you have to write as a context context you have to write context dot mode private uh, mode private comma null right after that what i'm going to do is you have to write a db dot execute this one we have to create the table so we have to write a create the table so we have to write capital letter create you have to write create table create table if not if not exist exists if not if not exist uh, what i am going to write here is exist right the category the table name table name i am going to put as this one as a course right courses courses table name i'm going to press courses and this is the data table uh, table name this is the database name this is the table name now here i'm going to create the table columns here i'm going to create the table 
columns here so first one should be id this one should be always auto incremented so here we have write as integer 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 with primary mean unique and we need another task with primary sorry primary key with auto increment auto increment increment auto increment right comma dot right as a first one should be first uh, column should be course course here this one should be uh, we have to write as a watcher watcher right now here what i'm going to see comma write as another column Control C to copy this one. Control V to paste here. This one should be title, comma. Control V to paste. This one should be text. Right. Three column. These are the column we have to create. Right. Course, data type watcher, title watcher, text watcher. We have to create these columns. Relevant columns we have to create. Now here we have to uh, all the things are correct you have to check post watcher right perfect now what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to create the uh, write the insert query so string sql equal we have to write an insert query you have to write insert into what is the table name course courses table name is course set into courses uh, we have to write the column name properly here what is the column name you have to write control c to copy control v to paste second one should be title third one should be text right these are the tables table columns so what are the values you are going to pass so here we have to i am writing the prepare statement so it's very uh, good if you write the prepare statement right prepare statement Write a prepare statement right now here what i'm going to do is here we have to uh, write here first we have to write a uh, sqlite statement sqlite statement you have to write sqlite statement you have to write statement equal db this db this db dot compile statement here we have to write as a pass a sql this one we have to pass here after that what i'm going to do is here we have statement object we have to write statement statement dot bind string uh, one comma this one this course this one control c to copy control v to paste here so this one will be two this title here this one should be three here we have to this text you have to put here that's the thing we have to do finally you have to statement dot or write execute right that's the thing we have to do right after that what i'm going to do is toast dot make text you have to write as a this you have to write record added comma toast dot length long dot show you write like this after add the record we have to clear the text boxes so uh, out clear ed1 dot set text we have to clear ed2 2 dot clear right this stuff we have to write okay let's check whether it's working fine or not so here this one control c to copy we have to put here control v to paste here right. now you have to check whether it's working everything fine course title right text right now let's check whether it's working fine or not it's successfully added in the database table or not right let's check so one two three course perfect now let's Execute that. Yeah, 
add course you have to log in you have changed the password field here so I, I will change later on so here I'm going to select this uh, course as uh, Java I, two times I add Java I have to remove it so Java so you have to Java introduction 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 this one we have to write some dummy text here you will be able to write the multi line like this click add record added right it's added successfully so uh, after that if you uh, after add the course you have to add um, you have to add multiple courses here here uh, now after add all the stuff if you click cancel it goes to the main so what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to get this b2 text uh, b2 b2 dot set on click listener new view on click listener here here we have to write this one as a intent you have to write the simple code we have to write inside this one click okay simple new you have to write as new intent here we have to write get application context comma main activity class dot class which class main activity mean this main activity to be seen that's the thing you have to wrote after the start activity right that's the stuff you have to write okay now let's another one now here go to the go to add course you have to log in the one click login will be able to log in here i'm going to add, uh, add the another title variables variable you have to write something like variables click add button it's added if you want to cancel if you cancel it it's successfully uh, coming to the main right simple i hope you guys you understood so far in my next tutorial i'll be teach how to uh, load load this uh, after add the course if you click this uh, java uh, uh, java if you select the java course what are the contents it's loaded in the list view here okay uh, i hope you guys you understood so far if you like my channel please subscribe me uh, like me thank you for watching